Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sarap Sundays. I'm Jen of Indulgent Eats. I am your host. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I am hungover. <laughs> We're living in the coronavirus era, the quarantine times. So we decided to have a game night last night since we're not going out. And I had a lot of drinks. Like I didn't even bother cleaning up this table. There's like leftover. I actually might still be drunk now that I'm speaking. I'm, I think I'm still drunk. But there's like leftover cups. There's like s empty sake on this table. So, what better time than now to make the ultimate hangover food, Filipino breakfast, AKA sea logs. So, we are making toasty log, which is tocino, which is a sweet cured Filipino pork, sinanog, which is garlic rice, and eat log, which is fried egg. Filipino breakfast is called sea logs because we put these words together and create new ones like long sea log, which is longanisa, sinag, edit log. We've also got spam sea log. <laughs> We're eating meat with garlic rice and egg. It is the absolute best hangover food. First, we're gonna crush up our garlic. Secret to Filipino food is garlic, a lot of it. This Gonna give you all that flavor that I like to do it. I like to, oh, I like to crush it. Makes it easier to peel off the whatever this is called. Oh my god, Crosby! I drank too much wine last night. He does not give a. Shit. Crosby's out. He's over. He's over me. Here comes your ASMR. I like to do this like rocking situation. All right, so we have our nice minced garlic. I want to use fresh garlic for this. It just makes such a difference in taste. And what we're gonna do is first we're gonna make our cauliflower fried rice. Last night I riced some cauliflower. There's no need to spend extra money to buy the riced cauliflower, in my opinion, because this is a whole head of cauliflower, and it was, I don't know, three bucks at the supermarket for this whole head of cauliflower, and all I did was use a cheese grater to turn it into this consistency. It's so much cauliflower rice in today's quarantine times. Nice little arm workout using your cheese grater and just taking the head of cauliflower and putting it against the cheese grater in order to turn it into this consistency. So what we're gonna do is we are going to fry up our garlic rice. Obviously, you can use regular rice for this. We're just in the spirit, hot spirit, of trying to be a little bit healthier since obviously we're not moving as much as we would if we were out and about versus right now where we're social distancing. We're just trying to watch our carbs a little bit. Okay, so we are going to add about two tablespoons of oil into our pan. Uh, and you want to start over medium heat. You don't want to necessarily brown the garlic too much. So we're going to add in our garlic. I don't know why this induction burner freaking always burns. Anyway, if you're using a gas burner, you shouldn't have this problem. And what you're looking for is you want these to turn golden brown. Transfer all of your fried garlic into a bowl. You want to cook it separately from your rice because you don't want the garlic to burn. And my case, like, oh my God, I hate this pan so much. Okay, that was disastrous. <laughs> um, I cleaned out my pan. I changed the oil. So normally when you make this, because you cook the garlic in your oil, it gives a lot of flavor. I had to just ixnay the oil because it was had all this burnt garlic in it. So I replaced it and we're just gonna improvise. So. You want to add your ooh, cauliflower into your pan. And you're just going to cook it in your garlic oil. It's going to get a lot of nice flavor. Since I had to th 
throw out my oil. I lost that garlic flavor. What I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and add some garlic powder to it. If you want extra garlic, or let's say like you're making this and you don't have fresh garlic, you could for sure also just go ahead and use some garlic powder as a shortcut. It won't taste as good to be quite honest with you. Like fresh garlic just has this irresistible flavor, but it'll be good in a pinch. And then in terms of the other seasoning for this, whether you're using fresh garlic or garlic powder, you want to add either salt or, as I like to do, fish sauce as your only seasoning for this besides the garlic. So we're going to take the, the fish sauce and we're going to add about, this is a whole head of cauliflower, so we're going to add about a tablespoon of fish sauce to it. And you want to really make sure that that's fully incorporated into all the rice. So make sure you stir it around a lot. In general, you want to stir it around a lot because you want to make sure that all of it gets evenly fried. And seriously, if you never try it with cauliflower rice, this is going to blow your mind. Obviously, I love white rice, but I need to always offset my dining out. It smells so good, by the way. And what you're looking for is you want, you can already see it's changed color quite a bit. And again, if you're using white rice, you would do the exact same thing. You just want to make sure you're using cold rice because cold rice fries better than hot rice. Just facts. So this already looks good. We're going to transfer this back into our container. This is way easier if I dump it. Okay, so I was not pleased with my rice using it in this burner. I refried the garlic so you can see now it's a nice golden brown. There's no burnt parts. And then I refried the cauliflower rice in that garlic oil so it really had that garlic flavor. And I added a little bit more fish sauce because I'm hungover. I want salt. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna prepare our Spam. You can see I'm using Spam Light. You know, I think it has about the same flavor as regular Spam. It's processed anyway, so you may as well use the lower calorie version. I like to get my Spam like super duper crispy, so I like it nice and thin. So, slice it on up. Are they? There we go. You don't technically need any oil for Spam, but we're hungover, so at this point, anything can help. And then we're gonna fry this up. We'll just consistently keep turning this. Whoa, I have never seen that before. Have you ever seen a Spam, like, bloat like pizza? That is crazy. And you wanna keep a safe distance away. It does spurt. Look at that spam. Look at how beautiful and crispy. Now we have our tocino. Throw that all in. It's basically cured. A lot of people cure it with 7-Up. Some people use like brown sugar and something called achuete. All right, so we're gonna let that just sit, I guess. And what you're going for is like a caramelization. So let's turn this. Ooh, wow. You can see a nice color on the meat. Now we're gonna do our longanisa. Oh wow, those, <laughs> those are connected. I need to cut them. Here's something I never thought I'd do on camera. Sniff sausages. <laughs> Sniffing sausages sounds like something else. You wanna get a nice browning on them. You can just kind of stir them around. And when you're cooking this, you wanna maintain medium temperature. You don't want them to burn. So if you're on medium, they can kind of cook slower and make sure that the outside doesn't cook fast on the inside. Buy these amazing Japanese eggs. We're just gonna push that to the side. Eat that on its own and try and make this egg kind of like pretty looking. And what I like to do is almost baste the egg white. So I like to take the oil and put it on top of the egg. A lot of Filipino restaurants do this too. It kind of just helps out the cooking. When you put that hot oil, on the egg. This I'm just gonna eat. 
this one's now done. Drain some of that oil. Look at that yolk. Oh my god, guys. Look at that gorgeous orange yolk. All right, so now it's time to plate. I'm just gonna put all of the meat. Look at this freaking mountain of meat. What you need to plate this really pretty is a bowl about this size. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna first add a little bit of your garlic. So like, let's say this is two servings. So we're gonna do half of the garlic in the bowl like so. Then you're gonna add in enough garlic rice to fill your bowl. Press it in, okay? You're gonna take your plate, press the, press it on top of your garlic rice. Put the garlic rice where you want it on your plate and flip it. And you will be left with a beautiful mound of garlic rice. You're gonna take your egg, place it next to your garlic rice. Take your meats and arrange them. A few longanese sausages. I'm using my hands because again, I'm eating this. I wash my hands. I'm clean. And there you have it guys, the most epic, the most epic breakfast you could ever ask for. I mean, how good does that look? Got my egg shirt. Like, this is American eggs. Look at this yellow ass <laughs> Look at this beautiful orange yolk. All right, so I'm gonna take some photos. Um, then we're gonna eat it and then I'm gonna go live. <laughs>